Hey everybody, it's the Timmy V here. Timmy V, the motherfucking monster. <laughs> Finally, he jacks up the guy's back after a month. I know the neckbeard part. It's never, but here's the thing: my neckbeard is usually not like this. I'm. That's why I shave it a little bit, and shape. I actually, and I shave it on the areas I really don't want the neckbeard growing. So, yeah, jacks up the, the guy's back. I'm a bit late. I should have done this earlier. And I had to, hey, what can you do? I'm also trying to, f and and I really am trying to figure out how to do a face cam when I, with the current recordings when I use, I use an, I use the X, I use the Xbox <laughs> companion thing to do the recordings. And that's how you've been seeing my videos lately. Because when I found that out, I was like, oh my god, this could be important later. And that's why, I don't, and and that's why, I had, I cannot believe that I was that lucky. Now, <clears throat> this this laptop might be middle of the road, but it's a great laptop, all things considered, in my opinion, because of this feature. So, yeah, and I do look. My face has the face of a chubby guy, and you guys are right. Or is it the camera's output? I really don't know, and I really don't care. I really don't care for looks or light right now. Right now, I only care for just entertaining people. That's it. I feel like every time I look at my face right now with this hair tower on, I think, wow, I think I look like a pedophile. And I wouldn't blame anyone if they said I was a pedophile. But it's usually, I think it's because of my long hair, and I hope I really don't become a pedophile. If so, everybody just hate me for this, for that, seriously. But, but the point is, Jack, Jack Septicai's back, one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh my god, I've been, it's been waiting a while. So, I, and I'm making it, and I know it feels like I'm making it out to be, well, like a miracle thing, but I actually thought he wasn't going to show up, and and now that I've, and right now, since I'm thinking about it, I really should not have been, been thinking like that, seriously. <clears throat> and yes, the glasses right there, you, that you see right over where my finger is, or if you guys never noticed it, that's okay. I put them there on purpose. Aesthetic purposes. They came bonded with a game for the Wii where you actually put them on. It was this Unreal Shooter game. I actually thought it was quite fun. But I don't think I'm ever going to play it again. Because it beat the, beat the entire game. Because I don't know thinking about it, it could become boring to me. But I really like shooters, but here's how it's going to go. I'm still trying to figure out how to do a face cam with the Xbox game recording feature when I do it on Steam. Because I really want you guys to see my face. Because I really have something to, to use on this part. I don't know if I should really use, use a... Because... Literally, I've been purring this on when I go out, this being a Walking Dead one, but I wore it under a mask that is way cooler. Let me show you. No! What? It should have had this out. This mask. This is from Cyberware. I, and if you guys, if you, and this is, if this beautiful sign looks familiar, that's because I never owned this thing. When I took a picture of it, I actually thought I bought it until I realized, wait, did we actually buy this? And then, I don't, I can't remember the exact words I actually said. I don't know what I was thinking back there, actually, when I, when I was holding this inside my hand. So I had to return one of these. I, I think it was a skull one. I never owned this one. I was, I thought I bought, bought the skull one. And the skull one was in there too. So, now that this is in here, this is great. Only one more mask to go. And I actually thought they were $200. They were actually cheaper. Like, what the actual fuck? I wear this underwear. 
But I quickly realized that because I had these, this one on, it's hard for people to understand what I was saying when this thing is under here. And I'm conflicted because this thing, this part here, really, really protects my, helps my nose stop itching because of this fabric that's made, that this is made of. But if I wear this and, and you guys are trying to understand what I'm trying to say, I don't think that's good. It's not, not, not even, even when I'm trying to tell a joke, that's not going to work. So, yeah. Jack up the guys back. Great. Good. I still, I really want to learn how to do a face cam. That's why I have this. The ice cam. I had this for a while back from Krenabaka, and I decided to bring it, and I, when I saw it, I decided to bring it back. Because I could use it to do a face cam. But when I plugged it in and I started using it when I, once I finally got a disk drive. And and then I started to think, wait a minute, I should be writing the CD that, that this thing came with. And I never bought this one. I actually took it from Cuernavaca. I, no, I didn't steal it. It was actually already in the possessions of my relatives before the hotel got shipped got shut down and was eventually, from what I heard, well, obviously, I know, you, we all know what happened. It was torn out and, oh my god, I just, I cannot believe, I, at the back of my head, guys, I didn't say it before I, be, I as, as soon as I said it, but I just realized, and before, and before I, and that was before I was gonna say this, but this is supposed to say psycho, but it, but obviously, it's like I'm looking in a mirror. That is kind of weird for me, actually. So, yeah. This is what I'm going to be wearing, along with one of these types of masks from Cyberware. Which I, is in my ending thumbnail, which I used, which I created using YouTube Intro Maker. Yes, that's how I made that outro. And that's how I used the La Dad thing. And I ship... And... Come to think of it, every time I look onto my des description, it's supposed to say what song is playing. But it does not do that when I upload it through this computer through CyberLink PowerDirector. Which is weird. Very weird, in my opinion. So... Now I'm gonna have to go back to crediting the creators so I don't get cop so I don't get my videos copy like claimed. That's just the gist of it. I'm gonna have to do a lot of copy pasting now. <sighs> oh well, but here's the thing. If you guys if you guys didn't see my intro video, that's because this is only a quick this is only a quick update, even though it's about Eight minutes long right now. I'm looking at my recording, but hey, now I need to do a lot of stuff. And because of Kappa, I now have to level my video, video, videos not for kids because there's no there's no gray area option. Well, gray area is not the best way to put it. <laughs> What I'm trying to say is there is no third option, like like the middle of the road option. You know what I'm trying to say. Again, why did YouTube throw us under the bus? It makes no sense. Then again, when some when some company sometimes when a company goes corporate, all you're thinking about is the moolah. Personally, I don't care if I get a million subscribers. I'm just from now on because I'm oh and one more thing guys, I was permanently deferred from from donating plasma at Griffles. Like which I don't know if I told you guys about it, but I'm supposed not. I got permanently deferred because I gave inaccurate, inconsistent you know records of you know of me saying stuff and that's how I got permanently deferred which it's which is fine by me actually it's it's good that they're taking steps that that 
that because of my inconsistency, I could be putting people in danger for making inconsistent, you know, reports, you know, making inconsistent, um, what's the word, giving in conflicting information. So, yeah, it's a good thing that they did not, you know, that they deferred me because I do not know if I actually could have got made things worse than somebody. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to be more careful. And my parents said I should not get should not get my groundskeeping job yet, but I heard West, the West Valley Park is still is actually hiring right now. Hopefully, they'll still be hiring after this pandemic or after you know when after I'm we're ready we're we're ready to actually you know get my job to so I can you know work for my money. Without having to always go to Griffles, I'll still go to Griffles too. Uh, uh, I'll still go to Griffles. No, no way. I was deferred from Griffles. Oh my god. I just realized that. Oh my god. If I left it on the end of the video, that would have been really embarrassing on my part. Still. I, I'm i going to try and keep that short right now. But when I go to another plasma center, I need to make things clear. You want to know how I got deferred? It had something to do with something called Ritalin, which is a pill I have never, t which I haven't t taken in a long time. That's why I got deferred, because it was such an inconsistency. I never wrote it down. I never wrote it down because I forgot I had, there was a, because I never knew the name of deferred medication because I never asked about it. That's why I got deferred. So I, that's why I, my blight and I blame mom because of it, but we're equally at fault at it, at, at it because of this. You see, that's the thing. You, what, you, you, that's the thing why plasma donation is extremely serious and why it should be take that you should take every person's health into account because you do not know what kind of disease they'll have that can actually make someone worse when they get the medication. They always have to make sure that they are. You have. They always have to make sure that you're trustworthy. It's a good, and and it's fine that they don't trust me anymore now, which is great because, yeah, I don't think I'm ever gonna take Ritalin again, but I think I should, you know, at least mention that pill as part of my history when I apply for the next one. But this time. We tell every detail, no matter how old, old that history is. <sighs> and like I said in my my last one of my last update videos, we had it was one hell of a morning, or one heck of a morning when that earthquake happened. Seriously, I even had anxiety, and and I uh, fuck. I still have anxiety every time I feel a shake in the house because I feel like, oh my god, is there another earthquake? Oh my god. It made me paranoid because I never had a heart earthquake happen in my life. Zero times. I never had an earthquake happen in my life until that day. Mom, I'm recording. Mom, just... <laughs> I said I'm recording! Okay! <sighs> Seriously. And I'm glad my brother wasn't here when the earthquake happened. Because I don't know how. Because to tell you the truth, and he wasn't, and it's a good thing he wasn't in a certain part of Mexico when, it ha when another earthquake happened. And another earthquake happened, I think, in Japan, and they think. That a tsunami is gonna come because of it. There's a huge chance it could come, and yeah, I'm actually am concerned for them, but it's not that relevant. But I still think it's very worrisome because I get where they're coming from. That is not a good situation to be in because I never seen what a tsunami can do hands down, but I can picture what can happen. I know when I know. Buildings are supposed to be sturdy, but if a tsunami can easily break windows because of the amount of water that's being pushed, 
You better damn well believe that I hope a tsunami never happens in Utah, even though it's not going to happen because we're in the middle of a desert and not close to a beach, which I'm thankful for. But here's the thing. The earthquake that happened, if it was any higher, the fault line we were on would have collapsed. Now I'm dreading that day. I really don't want to leave this house, but that earthquake, it was only five. The earthquake that hit Mexico or somewhere, somewhere from what I remember, was a seven. If it was any higher than a five, a fault line would have collapsed, hands down. Also, VR Junkies, my favorite VR arcade, closed down. And I made a good friend there, and now I'm friends with him on Twitter. And he does a lot of good picture art, I really like that. I, and I, and I frequently try to get into Twitter. I really should be doing it right now. I even asked him, and he said, he actually misspelled his friend's name, and now he ha was now pretending that his ne friend's name was Shot. <laughs> shot fell on the floor. Yeah. And he, and, and, and it was the first time I ever seen a, any form of dialogue he'd said, or any form of communication where he said the F word. The first time for me, actually. Yeah, that earthquake came out of nowhere. His name's Skelligam. I'm not gonna give out his full name because, oh god, no. I, I'm gonna. All I know is, I work. He was happy at Junkies, and I have a photo of him, and that's all you're gonna get. <sighs> I'm not gonna show the photo of him, of him with, with me, with him, and the entire crew from that splice. No. <sighs> but, hey. I'm gonna see him. Oh, I wish I can see him right now, but eh. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, I think it's gone long enough. If you guys like this video, well, leave a like. If not, dislike as usual. Oh, leave a like. If not, dislike as usual. Oh, thank God. And if you're new to this channel, why not subscribe for more of my content? But click the bell notification. Um. Uh, never mind. Uh, uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out! <laughs> hey! Welcome to the end slate, you bunch of fraggers! Be sure to click the bell notification icon to truly be notified whenever I upload a new video. But for now... I'm gone!